Hey guys, Brandon here. Florida named the fastest growing state in the country by census. What I find fascinating is that's the first time since the 50s or the, yeah, 57. First time since 57 that Florida's been the fastest growing state. And we know here that Florida continually has increases each year and it, it's always been growing. So the state has seen a 9x increase since 1946 when its population sat around 2.44 million. So it keeps increasing all the time. You know, we'll, we'll just say at least on average. And yet the last year was the biggest year in population growth. I wonder why that was. Maybe it was a video we just did possibly. People questioning why. Questioning with boldness, even the existence of God himself. If we're questioning the existence of God himself, then we surely must be questioning everything else, right? What? Uh, certain medical people are saying, what certain scientists are saying, what certain politicians are saying. You know, questioning an expert doesn't mean that, you know, you just, it just means that you blindly don't just follow what they say, right? Trust, but verify. Question why. Ask them why, right? The, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. You know, we can see that with the, the Gates Foundation. We can see that with many people out there that, you know, maybe started with noble cause and just quickly eroded into mass casualty. Right, so question everything with boldness. This is just fascinating, right? People moving with, voting with their feet. We talk about this with Bitcoin all the time. Voting with your feet. You now have the chance, the ability to remove yourself from the network, from the network that's stealing from you, the dollar denominated network, inflation, theft that no one asked you about. No one asked you if you wanted to go to Ukraine and, and be in proxy wars with nuclear powers. No one asked you. No one asked you if you wanted to uh, spend uh, another $2 trillion on an omnibus bill. No one asked you. You can remove yourself from that system now. Bitcoin, gold, silver, arms, security, uh, f land, food, uh, water, energy, you can remove and become independent, resilient and, and remove yourself from that system. And it doesn't take a lot. It just takes a little bit. As Jim Rohn says, it doesn't take a lot. Bob Proctor it doesn't take a lot. Just a little bit every day. That's all it takes. So you would think Florida, like every other year would be the fastest growing state, but they're not. A lot of the out West states are and Florida for the first time since 57. So I wonder, I wonder what happened in the last year or two that got people all of a sudden to be really vote with their feet and say, I'm getting the heck out of here because these people are tyrannical. I wonder what that was. Maybe people, someone can put in the comments what exactly that was and why. I, I, I don't know what was happening. So it's very interesting. When people understand that much and they're willing to literally uproot their lives and move because they see what's going on and they're that plugged in. Boy, oh boy, that should tell you something. Again, question everything with boldness. We don't pretend to have the answers here. We just question everything. Trust, but verify. This is massive, massive data coming in here that is generally, again, a Western thing, but people moving to Florida, and in Florida, unlike really any other country, saw the most freedom. You know, I, I don't think anyone here can, can really argue with that. There they're, they're just, they're just wasn't. And ironically, they had the least amount of issues. So again, what are, we, what are we doing here at the end of the day? So we have to ask ourselves why that is. Question everything with boldness. Be honest with ourselves. Be able to hold opposing opinions in our heads at the same time. There are things going on simultaneously, right? There was something going around that was affecting people, right? But there's also a lot of, of fishy things going on at the same time, right? So those two things can both be true. Those two things can both be true. So what have we been saying as well? Get independent, get resilient. Mind, body, spirit, mentally, spiritually, physically, emotion. Get right. Get yourself right. Make sure that you are or getting yourself fit, mind and body, soul. That way you can take on what is going on here. You know, me personally, I, I you know, if every, I think that if everyone is out there, you know, walking every day, you know, old or young or whatever it is, and you're getting healthy or eating healthy, right? These things, you know, most things shouldn't affect you. You shouldn't be worrying about these things in your life, right? You should just have freedom. And if you feel so inclined to, to do something and, and do something to your body, that should be your choice. And then you're good, right? You're good. You shouldn't have to force that on someone else, right? We believe in freedom. You know, freedom isn't free. We believe in freedom and liberty and free markets and capitalism. That's what we believe here. Rising the bottom up instead of trying to bring the top down. So question everything with boldness. I think this is fascinating data that has just come out. And let me know your thoughts here. I'm really curious. Please like and subscribe to this. And let me know what, uh, what you think we have right, what you think, you, what you think we have wrong, what you think we else we should question. And please share it with someone that you think might get something out of this. I appreciate your time. We'll see you on the next one.